Hello guys, so quickly in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can buy USDT on BitGet, okay? Now, you can buy this USDT even from your bank app. So make sure you watch this video step by step so that you don't miss out on the process, okay? So as you can see on my screen now, this is BitGet. This is a BitGet app. And as you can see, I don't have USDT here. I just have only 0 0.04 uh, USDT here. So what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to click on here where it says more. Hope you can see this more button here. Just click on this more button, okay? Then what we're going to be making use of is the P2P on BitGet, okay? So just look for uh, P2P here. If you check here, you can see this is P2P here, right? You can see the P2P button here. So we're going to click on this P2P here, okay? Now when you click on P2P, it's going to bring you to this interface where you're going to be seeing buyers and sellers. As you can see here, you can see can see buy and you can see sell which means that if you want to buy this is the interface where you're going to buy uh, your usdt but assuming you have usdt that you want to sell then you're going to click on this sell here then you're going to go ahead and sell but remember in the case in the case of this video we want to buy usdt okay so we're going to click up here and click on buy so here uh we're going to look you see where it says limit here because i just want to make the search to be very very fast for me so uh, I think we should just buy USDT worth of hundred dollars, or we should just buy like 50, 50 USDT. Okay, let's say we want to buy fifty USDT. Okay, you see where it says uh, limit here. Okay, just click on this limit. Okay, so uh, this is not really necessary, but I'm just doing it so that uh, the search will be very very fast for us. Okay, so here let me just put in like fifty thousand naira here. Okay. So the essence of doing this is trying to filter. Are people that are selling from 50,000 naira upward, okay? Uh, instead of just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling through, okay? So what we're going to be doing here now is to look for guys that are online and that are ready to sell USDT. So if you check here, you can see this C exchange, right? The guy is, uh, say, is ready, his limit is from 45,000 to 169,000 naira, okay? So he has enough USDT for 45,000 naira, to 165,000 naira, okay? And there are three things I actually want you to look at for before you buy USDT from anybody here, okay? Now, the first thing I want you to look at is for you to look at the orders, okay? How many orders has this person completed? If you check here, you can see that this guy, T Exchange has completed 1,682 orders, which is good, okay? Then the second thing I want you to look at is is rating, which is this percent here. You can see he has 100% rating, which is good. It means that I'm very, very sorry for the noise behind. I have some guys walking somewhere around my vicinity here, okay? Now, when you look at this rating, which is 100%, it means that the guy releases coin on time. As soon as you buy coin for him, it means that he releases coin on time. So people will be giving him thumbs up and that will amount to his rating here, okay? Now, the third thing I want you to look at for is the presence of the seller. You can see here that this guy is online, right? He's online. So if somebody is not online, for me personally, I don't like buying from that person because it's going to take time. It's going to delay. The person is going to delay the release of the USDT. But if you have somebody like this that is online, then it means that it's good to go. You can go ahead and buy from that person. Okay, so I'm going to go with this guy. So let me click on buy here. Okay, now remember at this point in time, you should have the amount of money equivalent to the USDT you want to buy in your bank account because how this thing works is this. As soon as the person... Uh, as soon as you pay the seller, okay, he is the seller. Now you are the buyer. As soon as you pay the seller, then the seller is going to release the crypto to you. Okay, so you make sure you have the money ready. Okay, so here you can either choose the amount of USDT, the, the amount in 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 then naira. Now I'm in Nigeria, so I'm using naira. But it depends on the country you are, whichever country you are, you're going to be using the equivalent of your currency. Okay. Now, is it that you do that by fiat, which is your local currency, or you do it by crypto? Let's assume you want to do by crypto. If I click crypto here, so I'm going to be saying like a minimum of, let's say, I want to buy like 50 USDT. So if I'm going to be buying 50 USDT, you can see it's going to cost me, you can see the amount be below here, it's going to cost me 84,550 Naira. Okay, so the, the amount you put here is going to give you the value of how much you're going to be paying to the bank account of whoever that is going to be selling to you here, okay? So, um, 
what i'm going to be doing next is this okay let me just buy 50 usdt okay then i'm going to come down here uh then i i like the fact that it's going to be releasing most times it releases his coin within 15 minutes that is very very okay also so, so you can see this guy i think this guy is very is very good to trade with then also uh to make it more um to be on the safer side it's better you read the attempts here okay you can see in his own case he said drop your number of faster transaction which is still okay just make sure you drop your number after you you pay and it says it does not receive payment from third party meaning that for this kind of a person that says he does not receive payment from third party you shouldn't go and transfer money to him from another person's account make sure the transfer the money you're going to be transferring to him is from your own personal bank account okay these are his rules okay so here now i'm going to go ahead and click on buy with zero fee okay which means that you are not paying any money to buy this usdt okay so the next thing I'm, I'm expected to do now is uh you can see i can see the details of the transactions here okay now if you have any message you want to send to the person you can go ahead and click on this contact here okay i can send the person a message here okay but if you don't have any message it's still good and fine okay so what we need now is for us to get his bank accounts okay so we need to get his bank accounts so here is his bank account as you can see here so i'm going to copy his bank account then i'm going to go to my app and send the money to him then he's going to release the crypto okay so let's go ahead to my bank account and send him the money okay okay so you can see it says successful so what i'm going to do here just to rush back to the app here you can see then i'm going to click on paid okay so i'm going to click on this that i've paid right so all i'm just going to be doing now is just to wait for the person to release so i'm just going to come down to the message here uh, and say paid okay so all we just need to do here now is just to wait for the person to this for the seller to release the crypto okay so we've done all our own parts okay let's just wait for him to release the crypto so as soon as he releases the crypto i'm also still going to be showing you account. so you can see here that the crypto has been released already so you can see it's completed here, right? So let's go back to our account and check. Let's go back to our account and check. So you can see here, you can see I have the 50 USDT here already, right? You can see it here. So that's how simple and easy it is for you to buy USDT on BitGet, okay? Now, if you got value from this video, please remember to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to the channel if you've not done that before now, okay? I really appreciate you doing that. Do take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. And bye-bye for now.